Today, we're diving deep into the topic of acne pimples. Pimples are a common skin condition caused by clogged or inflamed oil glands or an increased presence of pimple causing bacteria on your skin. They're a symptom of acne and come in various forms, including blackheads, whiteheads, cysts, and more. In this article, we'll explore what pimples are, the difference between acne and pimples, how they affect our bodies, common causes, symptoms, treatment options, and preventive measures. Let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and comment below the video to support the channel's development and encourage us to bring you more great topics. What are pimples? Pimples are small growths on the skin's surface that can become inflamed or discolored. They are a hallmark symptom of acne and are most commonly found on the face, chest, shoulders, and upper back. However, they can appear almost anywhere on the body due to the widespread presence of oil glands. What's the difference between acne and pimples? Acne is a broader skin condition characterized by the presence of various lesions, including pimples. In contrast, pimples are individual skin lesions often associated with acne. Think of acne as the condition and pimples as one of its symptoms. Who do pimples affect? Pimples most commonly affect teenagers and young adults undergoing hormonal changes. However, they can also affect infants and older adults. Some individuals experience pimples well into their 20s, 30s, and beyond, and others may develop pimples for the first time as adults. How common are pimples? Pimples are incredibly common, with research suggesting that nearly everyone will experience them at some point in their lives. They are most prevalent during adolescence due to hormonal changes, but many adults also suffer from pimples. How do pimples affect my body? Pimples are most likely to develop on the face, neck, back, chest, and upper arms. However, because oil glands are found throughout the body, pimples can occasionally appear in other locations such as the eyelids, buttocks, ears, scalp, armpits, and even the external genitalia. While pimples don't typically pose serious health risks, they can significantly impact one's psychological well-being potentially leading to anxiety, depression, and other mood disorders. What are the symptoms of pimples? Pimples can vary in appearance and symptoms, depending on the type. Papules, small, red, and inflamed bumps. Blackheads, open pores clogged with oil and dead skin cells, appearing as dark spots. Whiteheads, closed pores filled with oil and dead skin cells, giving them a white or yellowish appearance. Nodules, larger, painful lumps that form deeper within the skin. Pustules, pus-filled lesions with a white or yellow head, surrounded by inflamed skin. Cysts, deep, painful lesions filled with pus, which can lead to scarring if not properly managed. What causes pimples? Pimples develop when oil glands in the skin become clogged or inflamed. This can occur due to several factors. Increased sebum production. Excessive oil can clog pores and create an environment conducive to bacteria growth. Abnormal keratinization. When the protein keratin accumulates and clogs hair follicles, it can lead to pimples. Bacterial growth. An increased presence of bacteria, especially Propionobacterium acnes, can lead to inflammation and pimple formation. Are pimples contagious? Pimples are not contagious. They cannot be spread from person to person through skin contact or any other form of interaction. How are pimples diagnosed? Pimples are usually easy to recognize, and a healthcare provider can diagnose them through a simple skin examination. During the exam, they may ask about your stress levels, family history of acne, and menstrual cycle, as these factors can influence the severity and frequency of breakouts. When to see a dermatologist? If you experience severe or persistent pimples, especially if they are painful or leave scars, it's advisable to consult a dermatologist. Dermatologists specialize in treating skin conditions and can offer targeted therapies that may not be available over the counter. How do you get rid of a pimple? There are various treatments for pimples, ranging from over-the-counter products to prescription medications. Here are some common options. 
Azelaic acid, derived from grains like barley, wheat, and rye. This natural acid can reduce swelling and kill bacteria on the skin. Benzoyl peroxide, available in products like Clearasil and Panoxyl. This ingredient helps to reduce bacteria and dry out excess oil. Retinoids, these vitamin A derivatives help prevent clogged pores and promote skin renewal. Salicylic acid, found in many acne cleansers and lotions, salicylic acid helps to exfoliate the skin and keep pores clear. For more severe cases, prescription medications like antibiotics or hormonal treatments may be necessary. Other medical treatments include Chemical peels, a mild chemical solution is applied to exfoliate the skin and reduce pimples. Laser therapy, laser treatments can reduce oil production and inflammation. Microdermabrasion, a procedure that sands the skin to remove the upper layer, unclogging pores in the process. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new treatment, as some options may cause irritation or worsen acne. Are there any home remedies for pimples? Home remedies can be effective for managing mild cases of pimples. Some popular remedies include Tea tree oil, known for its antibacterial properties, tea tree oil can help reduce inflammation. Exfoliating scrubs, gentle scrubs using sugar or salt can help remove dead skin cells that clog pores. Green tea, the antioxidants in green tea can reduce oil production and soothe the skin. Warm compress, applying warmth can increase blood flow to the area, speeding up the healing process. Ice. Applying ice can reduce inflammation and numb the pain associated with pimples. Should I squeeze or pop my pimples? It's tempting to pop pimples, but this can lead to more harm than good. Popping pimples can introduce bacteria into the lesion, cause skin damage, and increase the risk of scarring. It's best to leave pimple extraction to professionals. How can I prevent pimples? While you may not be able to completely prevent pimples, certain habits can help reduce their occurrence. Cleanse regularly. Wash your face twice daily with a mild cleanser. Use non-comedogenic products. These products are less likely to clog pores. Moisturize. Use fragrance-free, non-comedogenic moisturizers to maintain skin hydration. Avoid touching your face. Minimize transferring bacteria and oil from your hands to your face. Manage stress. High stress levels can exacerbate acne, so try stress-reducing techniques like exercise, meditation, or deep breathing exercises. What about diet? While there is no definitive link between diet and pimples, some studies suggest that high glycemic diets and dairy may exacerbate acne in some individuals. Eating a balanced diet rich in vitamins A, D, and E can promote healthier skin. What can I expect if I have pimples? Most pimples resolve on their own, though they can be persistent in some individuals. If pimples are impacting your quality of life or mental health, consult with a healthcare provider for personalized treatment options. When should I see my healthcare provider? If you experience severe outbreaks, painful lesions, or significant distress due to pimples, it's time to consult a healthcare provider. They can offer guidance and, if necessary, prescribe treatments to help manage the condition. What's the difference between a boil and a pimple? Boils are larger, more painful, and filled with pus caused by bacterial infections, while pimples are generally smaller and less painful. Boils also do not respond to typical acne treatments. What's the difference between a cold sore and a pimple? Cold sores are caused by the herpes simplex virus and are highly contagious, typically appearing on or around the lips. Pimples are not contagious and do not form inside the mouth or on the lips. What's the difference between genital herpes and pimples? Genital herpes is an STI caused by HSV2, characterized by painful blisters on the genitals, while pimples in the genital area are usually not painful and result from clogged pores, not a viral infection. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and comment below the video to support the channel's development and encourage us to bring you more great topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.